Cause I got this cool badge, man. I got this cool badge because they, uh, I got Mike. I got a code from Microsoft to uh, participate in the uh, Project X Cloud event where we're like trying to stream video games and like giving them feedback, making sure like everything was going good. Um, and they gave this badge to all the fun or all the X Cloud members, everybody that helped out with it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, not that it really matters, cause I think like. You can just copy and paste this or send this to anybody you want, and then they can use it too. Uh, but I thought it was cool that I just got the email. And they're like, "Hey, man, thanks so much for helping out," um, and all that good stuff. Yeah, it felt it felt pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, I was saying that um, my freaking my my week has been getting better, just like yours. You know, like it started off pretty rough, um, and then like I went to the funeral on Wednesday uh, for my grandma because she passed away. I know I episode of that's right you guessed it um learning to uh, art and today we're getting into a new emote today we're going to be doing uh look at me now emote and um we're going to start off by looking for some inspirations over here on the great google that everyone should be using if, if ever you need any sort of um, reference material or anything like that also places like Pinterest the places um, like it just really anywhere on the web you can go to in order to learn a little bit more information about the subject object thing you're drawing yeah let's get into it guys As you can see, I did something a little bit different on this one by increasing the brush size of the G-Pen that I was using right here. I was able to make a perfect circle relatively easily as opposed to the last art piece that I did where I tried to make this circle by hand. You see a little bit of the waviness at the bottom of the chin on the last art project and other things like that. I found a quick fix and I suggest to anybody who is trying to find a simple way to do these art pieces on mouse and keyboard. Uh, this is like, yeah, yeah, you gotta do it. You can't get away from the art without doing something crazy like this on mouse and keyboard, man. You gotta find quick and easy ways to kinda change the art piece or make the art piece a little easier to come at from that perspective and you have to like think about it um in that way and you'll notice through this art i do a lot more erasing and things like that in order to make shapes and um you know facial features as opposed to actually drawing it out and that's because i am on my and keyboard doing these art pieces as opposed to being on a tablet or something like that um, to make it easier, to make it more akin to drawing traditionally. I'm 
different than the ones I did before. The eyes that I did before was just a simple brush stroke. These eyes are actually shapely, they have form to them, and they're going to have things inside the eyes that you need to pay attention to, as it's the look at me emo, so the eyes are pretty important, because he's pointing directly into his eyes. I had to uh, find out a way, and that's kind of what I'm discovering through this trial and error session that I'm having right here. I'm trying to discover a way, simple way to make those eyes angry slash serious eyes that are just, yo, look right here. Don't look away. Don't look anywhere else. No, no, no. Right here. You understand what I'm saying. You, you've you been told that. I've been told that a lot of times by my mom. Uh, and I'm sure you have too. So, you understand. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is the neat trick that I learned right here, which was to copy and paste in the eyes. <laughs> Simple as that. Freaking crusty fingers. <laughs> yeah, these things are annoying and they took a long time to get right, but it's one of the mainstays of this art piece. So, once again, a lot of trial and error and a lot of different things to try to get this thing right. So, check it out. Farewell, sweet cookie cats. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do a art stream over on twitch.tv forward slash Gamer. You guys are free at any point to come in through there and stop by, say hello, and see what I'm up to live. Shh, hush now.
this is a quick experiment with vector lines. I just wanted to make sure that I, I had an understanding of how those lines work, how you can transform lines that are already created, make them the right curves and things like that. It may be something that I use in a future project. supposed to be and then I decided to just erase half of the circle in order to make the eye it made it a lot easier a lot simpler than I was actually trying to make a drawing the entire thing on mouse and keyboard as I keep trying to get uh conveyed to you guys it's a it's, a, it's definitely a different style and a different way that you have to come at the art when you're drawing on mouse and keyboard due to the fact that it's, it just doesn't track as well as a pen on a pad now I'm adding the eyebrows and just a few details to the eyes um, things like outlines and things like that help like per help the eyes become more pronounced and since I want that to be one of the center most attractions on this piece it's why I did the, what I'm doing here right now um, and as you can see right here I erased the eyebrows but I'll get back to them later I decided that I wanted to finish the eyes before I had the eyebrows <laughs> on the edge of the eyes well a lot of blood right there but don't worry I'm taking it back just a bit um, I added a little blood to the eyes just to like add to this kind of frustrated slash angry look that I wanted to go for and then I copy and pasted the eye to the uh, right side and the only little change that I needed to make was making sure that the shine from uh, the light was coming from the same side and I also wanted to shrink the face a bit and change um, the direction of the eyes and make sure that they're just a little bit lower than the whole face and it's not exactly centered so that it looks like he's looking down just a little bit.
it's time to work on the hands, which is like a, the roughest part of this piece because it's not just any one shape. As you see, you have two large cylinder looking things, which are the fingers coming up out of a circle, which makes it a lot more difficult to draw. And I was trying to figure it out on my keyboard the entire time. And this is just what I happened to come up with during that time. I didn't want the hands to be too detailed because these are emotes and emotes have like are basically you um, minus all of the detail um, is how I kind of look at emotes so this is kind of what I came up with for a hand um, an emo hand <laughs> the fingernails and getting the coloring down making it seem like blood is running through those nails right underneath those nails actually uh, was pretty rough for me since uh, it was my first time doing it I didn't quite understand exactly how it needed to be colored or drawn out in order to make it look like a nail instead of like paste or something that kind of just fell on his finger uh, so that's what I was struggling with here but I was able to figure it out and um, I, I like I, I like the way it turned out for the most part. I 
really think this was a smart choice that I did by making that middle a white line it's coming up from his forehead. I was able to tell from any point where exactly his hair should be parted at um, when coming down both sides. And it helped out a lot in the long run, especially with the coloring at the end. Like when I added that extra shadow, it really made it look like it was coming, the hair is coming straight from the root. It's a really smooth way of doing it. And I probably will use that in the future when doing hair. So I decided to redo it and make it look more like or more, um, more like the previous art piece I did uh, down with the sickness emote that's over on the, the right side of this screen right now um, to make the hair a little more dynamic, a little more wavy and kind of like like it's blowing in the wind or something like that. And then the last part is the shading and the blush. And a lot of people during the stream were asking, hey, is that blood, is that blood? No, no, no. He's an angry camper. Like I said, he's a little mad that you won't look at him. And so I wanted to add that in his face. His cheeks turn red, um, as you can see. And he's got a little, little red accents all over his forehead and the side of his face also. But of course I had to blend that in. And <laughs> so it didn't look like he just had a, oh, huge amount of cuts on his face or anything like that we don't want that this is not beat up busy no 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 last is the shading and lighting so we're gonna add that and then do the background and the piece is done 